um, all you Skype users out there, and even several of you who do not use Skype, you perhaps have received the following email, which I'm showing you here. It says, uh, Skype, welcome to Skype. And in the subject line, it says, Fail to process your latest payment. Please validate your info. And then it says it's from Skype. And then it says it's honest at Skype.com. And then it says two undisclosed recipients. That should be the first sign that it is a spam. And then it says, dear valued member, we are unable to process your most recent payment. Did you recently change your bank phone number or credit card? To ensure that your service is not interrupted, please update your billing information today by clicking here. We're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you have recently updated your billing information, please disregard this message. As we are processing the changes you have made, sincerely Skype member team services. But then it actually goes on a little bit here. Skype has several pricing options to meet your needs. You and then it says here in the blue on the bottom, you've received this email based on your update for Skype. Well, funny thing is, like me, some of you out there perhaps. Um, I've never used Skype, but it doesn't matter because like I told you, this is a spam. And then how do you know it's a spam? Well, before you click the link here, like it says click here, depending on the browser you're using. Um, right now I'm using Google Chrome. So you just mouse over the browser. Your little mouse or the little pointy thingy. Just hover over it without pressing, and then on if you use Google Chrome, it tells you right in the bottom corner what it, where it goes. It goes to maxivite.com slash com slash com dot php. Now the php at the end is also telling you too that it's going to run an executable file when you get there. And like, you know, like I told you, it does not go to Skype and it's probably some kind of virus or malware, spyware deal. And it's something that you do not want on your computer. So, you know, a lot of people are falling for these. It doesn't matter who it's from, PayPal, a lot, any kind of bank. A lot of times I get them from banks I don't even belong to. Like I don't belong to Skype, never have, never even tried it. It's not a secure platform. I don't use it. Never have, like I said, never will. And um, so, I mean, but there's too many people falling for this. So I'm making this email, you know, to warn people that, you know, do not, you know, look for all these telltale signs that you'll find in here. And then, like I said, I use Yahoo email. So I go to the bottom right. I click on the full headers. And they didn't even show up. It might be a slow connection. No, the headers don't show up. Nothing shows up for whatever reason. The connection's either too slow or something's going on with this email. Um, like I said, like these are nasty people who do this. They're criminals. They're frauds. And uh, like I said, it doesn't matter what site you go to. Um, they are trying to uh, do something nasty to your computer. They're not trying to sell you like Viagra or whatever kind of supplement uh, that site might be. Um, it's like I told you, it's going to be a virus site or a malware site or a spyware. I mean, as soon as you get there, it's a PHP suffix at the end. So, I mean, you know that once you get there, something's immediately going to happen. Even before the page loads. Uh, it's going to be installing something onto your computer. So you got to be really careful, people. Doesn't matter, like I told you, PayPal, whatever it is. I'll put a few more videos so you can see. Let me just refresh one last time to see why um, the header. Yeah, it's really slow connection, so 
Yeah, the headers. See, maybe they did something to hide the header so you can't even check. And like I said, because if you notice, everything disappears. It just has the subject line of the email. It doesn't say anything now. Maybe they figured out a way to hide the headers for Yahoo. You never know. Anyway, dream big. Thanks for watching. And like I said, be careful out there. These scammers are out there, and they, you know, all they want is cause trouble.